Victor, how hard is it? Uh, <laughs> there he is. It's definitely <laughs> harder than it looks. Harder than it looks. It's harder than it looks. You know, as much as I wanted to trust our new friend from the surf shop, there's a big part of me that was really, really hoping that somehow he was incredibly wrong. Okay, so I've gone ahead and made Casey a promise that I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna keep, to be perfectly honest with you. Okay, You're right, so if I track down surfboards, uh -huh. and I'll meet you there. Very seriously, don't. And don't put this in your video, but also try to get wet since the water's amazing. <laughs> when we were on our run today, we came to the surf spot, and looking at it, we're just like, man, it'd be so good to get out there and surf. And people were there with boards, and we were trying to figure out how to rent one, but we're running out of time because this talk was going on. Casey just went off to dinner, so we're gonna try to make this happen. Okay, so being from Canada, and this only being my second time in Boise, I didn't have a hot clue where to find surfboards at 8 p.m. on a Saturday night. With the tip I got from a new friend, I tracked down the owner of a coffee shop near the surf spot who apparently owned a board himself. He put me onto a guy who owned a rental shop and was willing to stay open for two hours longer so I could come rent some gear. Hey, how's it going, man? Are you Victor? Yeah. So, do you guys need wetsuits and shit? That'd be great. Okay. Yeah, I think I filled this out right. Yeah, you get there. Okay, so Victor here runs this incredible surf shop and like compound, and he's got all these crazy project vehicles everywhere. This one right here is gonna be an E350, four by four, camperized. What's it run up, vegetable oil? So. You're making this? Yeah, I've been building this uh, kind of Overlander RV. It's gonna run on vegetable oil. Yeah, I've been doing mm. it for like 12, 13 years. So Victor's obviously a rad dude, and I had a lot of fun checking out his shop and the various boards he was in the middle of shaping. Oh, well, that's beautiful. Who would have thought next to a river in Boise, Idaho, that there was a surf shop that felt like it was straight off the beaches of California? I've got the gear tracked down. I've got the surf spot. Now I just need Casey. You said we were gonna meet here at around eight something. It's now nine o'clock. I hope I'm not getting stood up like he's got more important stuff to do, I'm sure. But he's pretty stoked, so I think he's gonna turn up. Now it's just a matter of if he actually does or not. I'm a decent surfer. It's until you figure out how to get in there, that won't help you. We made it back to the surf spot with our gear in hand, rather undeterred by the slight warning from Victor at the surf shop. Casey and I were definitely making some bets on who was gonna stand up first. Here, you wanna film me going in? Yeah. Just film my first run. Okay. All right, here I go, it's my first run. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do exactly what Chris does. He makes it look so easy! He's good. Yeah. I got this, Levi. We gotta really commit. It's scary when you get up there, man. <laughs> you want me to take this and you come? Nope, Casey, I definitely don't got it. And half a dozen attempts later, it definitely didn't feel like I was any closer to getting it. With almost all our light gone and Casey and I still struggling, I definitely wished multiple times that Dan Mace was here so he could properly show us how to shred on this wave because, you know, he can, he can actually surf. Number six, we've got lights, we've got lights. We could not have been more lucky that on this random night, someone brought two high-powered lights and our session was not over yet. Come on, come on. Woo! Best two seconds of my life, I'm going again. Seeing Casey get a proper
proper moment on the wave made me really jealous and want a moment like that for myself. It's like if you don't know better. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That is the sickest way. Oh man. It's hard, man. It's not the same. Everything is opposite. It's not so bad that it took a few attempts. No. You guys actually stood up. Some people walk away not even getting up. <laughs> Seriously. Like no shit. Dude. Thank yeah, you. Of course. Appreciate it. Night, you, guys. you can call me Kelly Slater if you wanted to. And you would not be inaccurate. We basically, we, I mean, we were the worst people on the wave by far, but we did it. On like a scale of one to tubular, we were like a three, two and a half. <laughs> Solid two and a half. <laughs> we need to get back in. I got the key. You got the key, sure. Google Maps. Thank you. Some good. I'll just get one of these. That's fine. One of the 